Hey YouTube, it's Craig here, and I'm back with another fountain pen video. This one is going to be about the Mont Blanc Meister Stuke 146, and it's going to be a little bit of an unboxing. It's a more of a vintage unboxing. We're going to ink it up, and we're going to do a little bit of a writing sample. So let's get right into it. Ah, uh, sign of the times. Mont Blanc, the art of writing. This is the Meister Stuke 146. And I believe it's from around 1990. Um, tells you how old this packaging is. There you go, printed in West Germany before the fall of the Berlin Wall. Uh, and it comes in this pretty awesomely retro packaging. Uh, nowadays, when you buy a uh, Mont Blanc Meister Stuke pen or any pen from them, it comes in a regular sort of cardboard box. Um, but this is very 80s and early 90s. Um, you get this box that, uh, gift box is made in Holland. It says on the bottom there. It's all plastic construction. Let's put that off the side. The international service certificate. That's all the information about the pen. And I believe this pen was actually made for uh, the European market, or I don't know, like, I don't know the age of this pen, but it has this international warranty certificate. I don't know how put together this is, but it says on the back it was purchased in Phoenix, Arizona in 1991. It has a monotone nib, monotone, all gold nib, 18 karat, which is kind of rare for a 146. They normally have 14 karat gold nibs. And it says 18C on the nib versus um, 18K. You open up the package, and there's the pen with Mont Blanc, the art of writing. It has this, like, spandex material on the inside. It's kind of hilarious. But, yeah, it's just, it's weird. It's this spandex. And here's the pen. I've had the pen for a while. One, It's probably my favorite one to write with. That classic 146. So the 146, uh, the... The two big pens are the 146 and the 149. The 149 is the more iconic of the two. Meister Stuke, number 146. These are now called the, the Le Grand. And you can see the nib. So 18C instead of 18K for carat. But really nice nib, really great. Um, it has a different ink window than nowadays. It's like a striated um, ink window. This one, you can see a lot more through it. It's all inked up. I have the uh, Mont Blanc Around the World in 80 Days ink in it, and it's my absolute favorite. It's a very iconic pen. Uh, it's a wonderful writer. You can see on the back of the clip here. This is before they had um, serial numbers, so... Just says Germany. There's no serial number anywhere on it. How it works is the one stands for the top of the line, so the Meister Stuck, which is a masterpiece. The four means the filling system. This is a piston filler. So this one has a uh, has plastic threads, whereas I know the newer models have the brass threads. And the six stands for the size of the nib. So number six size nib. Of course, the 4810 stands for the height of Mont Blanc Mountain in meters. Really pretty nib. Great pen, great unposted, great posted. The reason why Mont Blanc is where it is today, they've been the leaders in marketing and advertising since 1926 um, and really going above and beyond. Uh, their competition, and that's why they are such a iconic brand. Uh, also, just their product placement in, in films. You know, any important document that has been signed in any movie, they were probably using a uh, Mont Blanc Meister Stuck. Um, but the company itself was founded in 1906 uh, by a Hamburg banker, and the first introduction of this pen was in 1924. This one, I... I want to say it's 1970s. 
but with the paperwork that came with it being from 1991, I don't know. I, I don't think they had all gold nibs at this time. I think this is a much earlier nib. And with the 18C, I really feel like it might be made for like the European market, but I'm not sure. If anyone knows any better, please leave a comment down below. I would love to know uh, what you guys think. The seller that I bought it from said that it was late 70s, early 80s, but he was also unsure. I thought it was, at the time, I thought it was early 90s. And he was like, no, it's it's actually earlier than that. And I said, okay, do you know though? And he goes, no. <laughs> So I kind of just left at that. I'll put a little comparison shot of what this looks like posted and unposted next to some of my other pens. There's so many editions of this pen, but this is like the classic one. Um, I'm still planning on getting a 149 and I'll do a little comparison of the two of those when I do get that, but. Okay, writing sample time with the. Is there Stook 146? This is all around the world. It's such a nice, like, deep turquoise color. I love it so much. And this is a fine 18 karat gold nib. No line variation, really. It's just a nice, good fine. It's like a Japanese medium. Um, but I am the German pen guy. I want to limit myself if I start collecting Japanese and American made and Italian made, then I'm going to go insane because I'm going to have like a gajillion fountain pens. So for now, German focusing on gold nibs and preferably Piston fillers. I've got the little Cabecos and those are fine, but I prefer the piston fillers. I prefer having those mechanisms inside. really 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 like this pen and this pen was the first fine nib that I ever had and it really turned me on to getting more and more uh, fine writers because I use a little pocket journal and using a medium or broad was really hard to write with so yeah I'm really enjoying these this fine nib Oof, oof. Actually, going this way is not that bad, but ugh, not recommended going that way. And as far as wetness, eh, it's not the wettest. It's a, it's a fine. It's a great pen. I recommend buying used. You can find a lot of good Mont Blanc uh, pens used on eBay, just be very careful. There's a lot of fakes out there, but buy it. find a seller that's really good. I bought this from Sam Penn on eBay and I'll link him down below. There's also another guy that's really great, Antique Digger. He's got a lot of good Mont Blancs and he does a lot of uh, vintage Watermans as well. So I'll put a link to him down below as well. 
And uh, yeah, uh, this is my first Mont Blanc and it's definitely not gonna be my last. And that's the video. Thanks so much for checking it out, you guys. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave a comment down below. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you wanna subscribe for more content like this, go ahead and hit subscribe and check out my Instagram at Craig Rockanova and we'll see you guys in the next one. All right, peace.